Well, Father Yahuwah, we just are, are thankful so much for the opportunity that we get to come and intercede for our, our family that's abroad, Father. And we just come before you right now and we just seek for your, your mighty hand to work in a powerful and productive way in the lives of, of all of those who are, who are scattered abroad across the earth tonight. Father, we pray that you would please intercede for us on behalf of all of those who are being victimized, who have been sought out by the adversaries, by the enemies, those, those false light workers who are masquerading as angels of light, seeking to steal, kill, and destroy. Father, we pray that you would allow all of their masks and this great masquerade that they are reveling in, Father, to be utterly revoked from them and that their camouflage and their concealment and their 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 tactics of, of hiding, Father, would be utterly eviscerated and they would be laid bare before you and before all mankind, Father. We pray that indeed you would cause this kingdom of darkness to to hear the, the great war from the lamb that was slain before the foundations of the earth. We petition you, almighty King of glory, Yeshua, that you would please send forth your mighty messengers to work mightily this very night to disrupt their communication pl- tactics, Father, that you would take the wheels off of their their vehicles, Father, that you would disrupt their transportation methods, their communication methods, and any of their forms of, of uh, corruption that they're using to try to ensnare and entrap others. Father, we pray that you would utterly blind the enemy's eyes right now and that you would just sow confusion into their camp and that you would turn their sword upon themselves, Father. And I pray that the snares that they have laid up in path for the righteous and in path for the innocent, that they themselves would fall into them and that they would stumble immediately and that they would not be able to stand up, Father, because pity the man who falls and has no one to pick him up. And I pray that they would not find any help or any aid, Father, but that you alone, O Yahuwah, would judge those spiritual powers that are contending with us and contending with our families and bring justice in Yeshua's name, that you would please rebuke the adversary and break every assignment that the enemies laid up in store against your people, your precious treasure, your segula, that you would stand as a guardian over your people and that you would indeed guard us, watch over us as the apple of your eye, as you once did in the days of old, that you would remember us, your lost sheep of the house of Israel that are scattered abroad, scattered across the nations, the seed of Abraham, Father, whether by blood or by belief, who we are calling upon you as your sons and daughters to guard us, to help us, to shepherd us, to lead us back through the chief shepherd, back into those good pastures where we can find find rest for our weary souls. We pray for strength to be delivered out to those who are who are hurting and weary and worn out. We pray for courage to be given to the cow and that you would give us boldness to, to contend eagerly for the faith, that you would give us wisdom without measure that comes from above, that's not tainted by the world, that's not earthly or carnal or sensual, Father, but we pray that you would give us wisdom and understanding and knowledge and reverence of you and strength and compassion and understanding, Father, that we may know you more. I pray above all these things that you would give us a hunger for your word that we may know you more and that you would give us once more no longer the fear of men, but may you drive fear utterly away from us. May you rebuke this great spirit of fear, this phobos that has consumed the hearts of men and women. And we pray that you would give us instead a fear of you and you only. May we revere you. May we guard your precious commands. And may we keep your testimonies like never before. I pray that you would give boldness to your people without measure and the dynamite power of your Holy Spirit, your set apart spirit to come and clothe us with power from on high, that the spirit of truth would bring to recollection all those words that you've said, that you would make us mighty for your name, and that you would indeed give us deliverance from our adversaries, that you would give us, make us the victors, make us the head and no longer the tail. May you revoke these curses that have been placed over us for our sins and our iniquities and the iniquities of our fathers. Please forgive the sins of our fathers and the generational curses that have come upon us because of their transgressions and the transgressions of our family members to the third and fourth generation. You said that whoever you bless is blessed to a thousand generations. So we petition you to bless us. No, you can, no one can curse us if you bless us. So we ask you, bless us. Give us favor. We petition you for your mercy and your favor. May it come upon us like never before. And may it empower us to keep your commands and walk in ways that are pleasing before you as Abraham did, as Jonah did, as the mighty men of, of, of Moab, that, that re- oh, as the mighty men of David who resisted all of those adversaries who came against us. May you give us the power to overcome and tear down the idols of our father's house like Gideon did. And may you make us mighty in word and in deed. And may you strengthen us and create doors of opportunity to go and preach your your witnesses and your testimonies to the nations. And may you please help us to not settle it in our hearts what we would say in that hour, but may we trust that you will give us the words in that very hour that we would speak and that you would boldly help us to proclaim the words of truth and in Fill the hearts of men with love of the truth like never before. In Yeshua's mighty name, we petition you for all these things. Amen.